Hey everybody, Digital Dean here with another Marvelous Designer 5 tutorial. Today I'm going over one-way pleats and box pleats using the auto pleat tool and also doing it by hand because in some scenarios the auto pleat tool won't work. So I set my scene up with just a simple one uh, pleat um, example. And what I did was I just made a piece that was 200 by 500 and I made a piece that was 600 by 500 and then I split the 600 side up into three even pieces of 200 using the the split um, split uniform split and then I just added an internal line and these internal lines are going to be extremely important to the uh, way that the pleat folds on itself so using the auto pleat tool, it's, it's extremely simple. It does everything for you. You just click where you want the fold to go over. And then as soon as you, you click and you, as soon as you drag out, it'll automatically snap over three segments and create the folds for you. And this, it's, it's really simple. It, it just, it just snaps everything. So if we, uh, simulate it and snap it it'll automatically uh, create a pleat so the way that you do the uh, internal lines is you need to set the fold angle so as you can see on this first fold it folds back on itself so the fold angle needs to be set to zero but the second fold because it folds the other way it needs to be set to 360 because if you had them set to 180 and 180 it's not gonna have a fold because a 180 degree fold is flat so it's gonna try to puff it out and be flat so again 360 and 0 so that's fine but that's just one fold one pleat what if I wanted more so what I did was I just basically took the same pattern and multiplied it by four because I want four pleats. I'm go ahead and freeze these real quick. Unfreeze these. So let me show you what the auto pleat does when you have more than one pleat. So you're not going to see a difference when I drag out other than it's snapping to each point. You'll see the difference as soon as I go down to where I want all the folds to be, click and drag out. It'll automatically snap to the third point or the, the third point and create one pleat. But if I go over to the second pleat, it'll create another pleat. And it'll kind of do what the free sewing does by snapping it over. And that's the third pleat. And that's the fourth pleat. So you click, and all the sewing is automatically done. And I went ahead and I did the fold angles the exact same. And I'll show I'll explain why I didn't put one uh between each pleat. So if you go ahead and simulate it, it'll snap over to itself. Almost got a perfect one. This guy's being a little, a little difficult. Let's see if I can. Oh, I don't think I can. Come on. Dang it. Why? Everything was going fine just per a minute ago. Maybe if I stop it. Oh, that did not help it. I think that made it worse. Ah! Well, we got a perfect pleat. <laughs> so that was weird. Sorry about that. So anyway, as you can see, this is where the... Uh, middle line or the next uh, where the uh, third internal line should go but because it's just a flat line it's continuing over you really don't need one because you're just gonna leave the fold angle at 180 so there's no point in putting one um, so these are how you do one-way pleats now box pleats you don't need to change anything uh, this setup is perfect what you need to set uh, change is the internal line uh, fold angle so 
because this big square right here is going to be the front of the box pleat, uh, you need to set them as the inverse of each other because this is going to fold back on itself and this is going to fold back on itself. So you don't need to change. This needs to be set to 0 and 360 just like we have it, but this needs to be changed to 360 and this needs to be set to 0. So 0, 360, and then inverse 360 to 0. Because technically, I guess you could say that you need um, like 5 points, I guess, in order to get the box pleat. 4 or 5 points, because you need, so as you can see, so you see we have the big square and then you have the fold over point. So, and then this is the underneath. So you're, so you're gonna have one underneath, one on top, and then one underneath of the big squares. And then in between those, they're just gonna fold over on itself. So you didn't change the pattern, you just changed the internal line. So that's how you set that up uh, using the auto pleat tool. But what if you wanted to hand sew it? Because sometimes it'll be all crazy and say um, you can't uh, you can't do it or it'll give you some bogus excuse and then you're kind of screwed and then um, if you only want one pleat um, let's say on the back of a shirt um, you don't you really can't use the auto pleat tool um, I find it easier to just do it by hand using the free sewing tool um, and then the segment tool so let me show you uh, let me break that down for you and also explain what's happening with the sewing. So we're going to start off with segment sewing and uh, we're just going to sew together the main fold, the one that's on top. So what needs to happen now is that this point needs to fold, point two needs to fold back and attach to point zero. So the way that you do that is you just click on uh, the inverse, you need to reverse the sewing so it'll pull it over. So I like to just do it where I make sure that the tick marks are attached to um, or are closer to the first internal line. And then it's the inverse for, or it's the same thing for the uh, second pleat because point three needs to attach to point one. So if I simulate that, it'll fold over on itself. And there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it by hand. It's the same. It's the same thing that you do that the uh, the auto pleat does. You just do it by hand. And I've done this uh, before for um, a shirt pattern because I wasn't. I needed it to. Um, I needed one pleat in the back from where it was, and I used the free sewing tool right here. And it was it was really complicated and really uh, it was a it was a headache, but it, the results were really good. Um, so that's how you do it by hand. So those are the two um, two techniques for uh, box and uh, pleat sewing, or box pleat and one-way pleat, um, both by hand and by the auto pleat tool. So I hope I was able to explain this um, clearly. It's a lot of it, it was probably too much information for such a simple thing, but um, I feel like you guys should understand the way that it's sewing. Um, rather than trying to stumble through it on your on your own. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.